Eddie Charlton, guys in the stands. The good thing we're checking out a bullet par today. Early in the morning, the air conditioner went off and there's no power. They've cut it off for the rest of the day. The bad thing about that is we're on quarter of a tank and we've come in here to fuel up. They need electricity for their pumps. So we're just trying to find out where we can find a little village hand pump one, the 44 gallon drums where they just pump it. When I'm so tired of trying and I'm out on the road again, I'm on the road again. When I'm so tired of trying and I'm out on the road again, I'm on the road again. I didn't have to call my special friend. Found the servo. At the other end of town. Ten litres will get us to the next. Twenty-seven per litre. Twenty-seven thousand kip. Is that close enough? Are we close enough? Twenty-seven thousand kip a litre. That's about a bit less than a dollar thirty US dollars a litre. And she does take VCL, VCL payments on the card. You needed to get cash out here and it's out of service. Uh, only ATMs in town, so we're down to about $15 cash on it. So these are the boxes you look for in the small villages and there are no big ones. No, they're not rice storage sheds, these ones. The rice storage sheds are built up off the ground. These here little 44 gallon drum servos. Here you go, both and young. <laughs> Got a feeling the entire 60 odd kilometres is going to be rough dirt road. That did not look good, did it? And all Mina was concerned about was swimming. No, I, I, I will tell you, in the morning, I, I said my clothes, and I, and you go say, come and me make up, and I stand in the outside, and I find food, food, <laughs>
another servo up there as you can see the smallest of villages Some fairly substantial homes out here don't see much farming though they're not yeah they're not on the road right yeah often gets me that one you just think the village is the size of what you see along the roadside but no they go up into the forest I can't, can't come through here and not stop at Papa John's hey <laughs> That's oh, they got a survey yeah. too. Uh -huh. It doesn't get much more isolated than this, does it? This is the main drag. Got Walmart here. Hello, Sabadi. Hello. <laughs> Oh yeah! Wow, a fridge with no beer lao. Not that I'm after beer lao. It just struck me that I don't see the gold cans in there. But what's a king go? Cantaloupe juice. I've got to get that. I've never seen it before. Go some of that. That's a coconut drink. Guess the girls would like a coconut drink. We got water in the car. Lay off the Pepsi. What am I doing? I'm getting us a couple of drinks. Look at that. I want this one. Yep, that's the one I got for you. And the green one's mine. If they've got chips, you can have chips. You've eaten your lunch. We just have a well-stocked shop, isn't it, for out it? Out whoop whoop. Out whoop whoop. Popular Aussie saying for out the middle of nowhere. Some people go as far as saying out the middle of bum puck, but I won't say that. It's rude. Okay, two little ones. You drive a hard bargain, girl. Your mum might like some plain chips too. They're her favourite. The plain. I want this one. Can you put it up? You hold that. You hold that. Just one. Yes. Okay. Grandpa. Oh, that one's broken off. We're gonna have to take two of them. There you go. Take two. What is it? Cookie in the my home. Oh. Yeah, well, you, you know we're going to eat healthy when we get home, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do know that. It hasn't been here too long, has it? They've got, they will have everything. Oh, a server, fencing equipment, clothes. Whip a snipper br weed cutter. Whip a snipper brush cutter weed whacker. New toys for the troopy. D huskers. Don't know if they're for rice or corn. Perko would know. Probably rice. Got beer loud there, they just don't keep it in the fridge. Everything you need, they've got fridges up the back. What are you looking at, Nana? Uh, jocks. What do you Got call jocks. The Gloves. To put to the tree. And hammock. Huh? A hammock. Hammock, yeah. Um, yep, yeah. Hammock. So you're going to get a Papa John hammock, are you? Papa John hammock. Okay. How do you say the town? Just so people know it isn't Papa John. You say the town. Tapa John. Tapa. Tapa John. Oh, it's Tapa John. It's just a papa with a T. 
you feel at home here, do you? No, I never. No, but it's a Putai village. Nina is Putai. Ah, okay. Looking at that. That would be where they collect the hot, um, cassava. They pile it up when they've chipped it and that. Come and dump it into a pile and gets collected there and taken away. I've seen it before. Because I don't think it's a burning up pad. Just come across this farm, they've cleared the land so they can put crops in there. Yeah, it suspiciously looks like a crater, doesn't it? Buffalo in here. Mina quickly changed her mind about swimming once she's seen them. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty hard in there. It's just the, the shit either side of the crossing that's soft. Did you just hear it? We'll go back down, folks. Just to see if there was a hidden rock. To ease my bloody mind, it was going through there easy as. And then just that clunk. Maybe the diths hit a rock that was embedded in the mud. Ah, okay. Yeah. You can see we're taking the top off that, that's all it was. Hello, Mr. Buffalo. <laughs> You're an inquisitive dude. Oh, the unit over here. I thought we'd bloody snap some shit up broken something just clipped the top of a rock that's all it was silly farang talking to a stick so don't fear if you hear a foreign sound in your ear it's We're about 34 uh, kilometers, so uh, about halfway there. Banakhu, which means clear spring water. We did cross the stream across the road back there, and coming from the bush, I said to Nina, Chris 
crystal clear that would be looks like it's come from a spring or something. But these villages do remind me of further south. Here we go here. And Nina's asleep, isn't she? She's missing out on this. Hello. <laughs> ah. Look at this. They come to you. I want to see him go through there. that blue lagoon. That's better than blue lagoon. Gonna have to cover some of these boys up though. Stay there? Stay? What a spot, hey? <laughs> He's backed his tractor up to um, filling it with water. It's the only water source they have at their home. What a cool little village. Check out this water. Nina was just saying the spring is just in front of the spirit house. That's where it comes from. No doubt right here where it's at its clearest. And this is just an area that fills up. They've dammed it up there for a small opening to create this little reservoir. They come here and um, give offerings to the spirit house to keep the water flowing. Because as we get all... Oh, there's some, got a bit of a flow up here. I haven't got my shoes on, I'm walking bare feet. Okay. Where's this coming from? I have to, I have to find out. Can hear some serious rapids over here. That tracks Peter and out. Bloody fire ants are all over me feet. Got to get them off, get in this water. Oh, me bloody feet, killing me. Oh. Wow, look where I'm at. Kind of like Kwanzi, isn't it? What a find! 
now I've got to get back without getting these fire ants on me. All they got to do is touch you and they must spit on you or something. It's like bloody acid. And washing it off is good. Just rubbing them off, no. Nah. You got to wash your feet. Bloody little microscopic red suckers they are. I don't want to go everywhere. I look, there's a picturesque bloody swimming hole. Wow, look at that. It's just all around here. Am I at the source of it or what? We're just like on top of a hill here. Mate, this is like something out of a bloody fairy tale. Making me way back. Bloody mozzies and insects are biting me. They didn't mention that in the bloody fairy tales. Uh, tubing out here. <laughs> As soon as Nene mentioned the word Kanong, the pool's cleared. It's empty. Time to go home. That's it. What a beautiful pool. It's a baby. <laughs> Here you go. This is Nam Lai. Very pretty. Another survey there. I keep pointing them out because I do get asked the question of like, how do we go for getting fuel here? Because they don't see many surveys. They're just not surveys that we used to see out in these villages. They don't stand out, do they? Once you know what you're looking for though, how good was that swim? That water was icy. Some fried rice. Chuck me hat up there. 35. Mm. We're all fueled up, all swimmed out. Washed all the fire heat off me. We're ready to go. 35 kilometers, we haven't even traveled halfway. Only averaging. Some of the road, 20 to 30 kilometers an hour. Speed in at 40.
Bye.